All right, so in this video, we're gonna be covering mobile detailing and the pros and cons that comes with it. So a lot of people that wanna start off their detailing business are always uh, debating whether a fixed location or they should go mobile detailing, or maybe you're, in a, you know, you're currently in a fixed location and you like to go mobile detailing. So here I'm gonna cover three main points on each side to kind of give you the big differences of you know, what's actually uh, better for you in your scenario. Now again, I'm only gonna cover the main ones that I think are most important. I can go through a long list of pros and cons, but honestly, it's only really gonna boil down to a few main key points. So I'm gonna cover three points for both uh, cons and for pros. So we'll start off with the cons side. Let's start with the negative things from what I see. So first one for the cons is weather. So you are kind of weather dependent as far as, well, you know, even if you are in the shop, you're also weather dependent. If it's, you know, pouring rain, not many people are going to want to get their car detailed. But more so is when it is, you know, a bit, it, it's more likely from what I've seen in my experience is that if it's, if you're, if you're mobile and, you know, the weather isn't so good, then customers will kind of be a little bit more lenient towards not going through going through with the detail. Again, that's from my personal experience. I've also had times where it is pouring rain or the weather is not so ideal and you know customers are still more than willing to go on with the detail because uh, we just have the garage or some type of uh, you know shed that we can work in. But for the most part, weather, you are a bit more dependent on the weather when you're mobile than when you're uh, at a fixed location, from my experience at least. Uh, next one is area to work. And what I mean by that is sometimes you'll go to some locations where you're just in a very tight space. You have little to no room to move around. You want to move your car, but you're also limited on where you're at. Perhaps you're in the front of the driveway and there's three cars behind you. Maybe you're in a very grand, small street. Maybe, you know, it, I've had some a lot of experiences. Maybe it's in a very tight garage, low lighting in the garage. No, you know, if it's really hot, no AC, so you're just sweating in there. So, you know, as far as mobile detailing, you will get into some, some locations that are just really tight and you know just not ideal for detailing of course you have to go through with it because you're there but for the most part you know it's not just not it's not the most ideal most comfortable way to detail uh, and sometimes it'll kind of affect your quality of work just because it's not you know conditions you're really used to and again just think about it for you know if you want to think about the pro the pros for uh, having a shop is obviously just having the opposite of this where you have your own space and you have everything that you like set up in your way uh, but we're doing mobile right now so let's focus on mobile and then third one which is also a big one is downtime so this is just you know this is driving from your house to the customer's location because you know if it takes you 30 45 minutes and if you want to do a lot of cars um, this could be a killer if there's traffic so you know if you know in an ideal world if there's not much traffic you can really time how long it's going to take you from you know point a to point b from point b to point c from point c to point d um, but obviously if there's traffic there's you know things that are going to go wrong this is going to be a killer time for your um, you know just for you making money because obviously you're just going to spend money, you're going to spend time on the road as opposed to getting car detailed so I think me personally I think um, you know the the you know driving the customer's location throughout the whole day is is really killer instead of just having come you know having multiple cars come to you you have to go to car one by one uh, again that's one of my cons uh, and it's not really a con it's just one of those nuanced things that really you know when, when things go bad it kind of kills your time um, but again if you can uh, optimize the time the routes if you know how to schedule uh, properly it's not really a biggie but this can go wrong for a lot of people uh, depending on the city you live in or uh, how you know how far apart your customers are so now let's go to the pro side so we can see some positive things in this. Uh, but again, then these, I mean, these are cons, but these shouldn't you know, deter you away from starting your mobile, de mobile detailing business or going toward mobile detailing business. This is just something that you need to look out for that, you know, so you can really just uh, have a better game plan to go into uh, before you just start going out there and thinking it's going to be, you know, uh, the easiest thing you can do. So for pros, we have low overhead. So obviously compared to a shop where you have so many other expenses, uh, with mobile detailing, you can really keep that down to a very minimum. Of course, you're still gonna have your typical things like insurance and all that good stuff. Uh, but for your low, uh, overhead compared to a shop is much, much, much lower. Uh, because again, you know, you can make it expensive if you want. If you wanna go buy a brand new car, you wanna go buy premium insurance, and you wanna go buy, you know, all these fancy tools, and you wanna custom, uh, you wanna, um, if you buy a van that's per se and you want to like uh you know make a custom uh setup in the back of your van yeah it can get expensive and you can pretty much raise overhead but for the most part if you keep things pretty simple you can keep overhead low 
and then for this one you can start now so if you want to go into mobile detailing business if you're just starting off or if you want to transition into mobile detailing you don't need to wait and go buy a van you don't need to go buy a specific you know a vehicle uh, just for your mobile detailing you don't need to go buy a pressure washer a water tank a generator a van you don't need to go through all that trouble if you have a sedan a truck a you know a minivan a uh, 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 whatever it may be, you can start with just that. It's really not that big of a deal. If you want to get into detailing business and you want to go into mobile, you can immediately start. As long as you have the tools and knowledge, you're good to go. Uh, it's nice to have, you know, the van, the equipment, the setup. It's not necessary because you know people want are going to hire you and pay you for your services for end result, not for what you have and what you literally bring to their customer's location. So you can literally start immediately if you want to go into mobile detailing business. And then flexibility. So uh, again, it's convenient for your customer. Um, again, but they won't have much trouble driving to your locations, and that's what they do for you know 99.9% .9 of all their businesses. But it's convenient for them. Uh, if you know if they have a busy schedule, you can go to them. And uh, flexible for you in terms of maybe you know you want to go to. Um, You'd like to detail customer's location and then from there you'd want to go to XYZ location for your convenience or whatever it may be. So, you know, if you like to drive around a lot, drive around your city, uh, know your city more, if you like to kind of just, you know, be in different locations, experience something a little different every single time, then this is more, uh, it's real flexible for you. So, obviously, because if you're in a your shop, you're, you know, you see the same things every day, you know it's going to happen, you know it's going to pass by. But, you know, in a mobile scenario, you know, you got to drive around, you can try new areas, restaurants if you want. Uh, it's just more flexible for you in your schedule. Uh, uh, again, in my opinion, uh, but again, these are the main pros and cons that I think for mobile detailing business. Um, I like it because you can start immediately. You don't need to go out and buy a van. You don't need to, you know, wait to have this, you know, your shop remodeled or anything. You can immediately start now. You can offer your services. You can make money. And if you want, and what I recommend is always start off with mobile detailing. Start off with the car that you have work your customer base grow it grow it grow it once you see that revenue is a bit more steady and you're in you're uh incrementally increasing it every month then you can look into either getting an actual mobile detailing setup like a van or a dedicated truck or move into a shop but i would definitely not recommend start, you know uh starting off and then buying a van immediately or going straight into the shop immediately because it just it's ideal is what you like but it's not what you should do in terms of being the best successful and profitable detailer out there hope this video helps leave a comment down below uh, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel uh, so you can get more content of starting and growing your detailing business talk to you next time